The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. As always, we come to you at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? Well, um, a few things. One, uh, I don't have a lot of these on my list, uh, but uh, first, uh, options continue to point to a stronger expiration. Uh, and I'm suspecting that we have maybe 160 or 180, maybe 200 points higher in the S&P cash before expiration on the 21st. Tomorrow we go delta neutral in the market. That means we're probably going to have a little bit more volatility as option market makers uh, add and subtract stuff. Uh, my belief is that any close above 3636 will see a rocket and will probably have most of those uh, or, uh, those winnings uh, in the next few days. We have far too many shorts as far as I can tell. Uh, we have far too many self-serving downgrades. Uh, people telling us that it's the end of the world. Um, you know, we've got Uber and Lyft today. Uh, last time I looked, they were down about 7 or 8%. Uh, now, I mean, there's a lot of reasons. None of them uh, hold any water uh, for Uber and Lyft actually facing real regulation. In my book, I don't think that either... Um, that uh, you really could get a presidential edict to make this happen. Uh, the Supreme Court's done nothing but in the last five years limit the scope of uh, bureaucratic decisions, not expand them. This would be a rather large expansion of it. Uh, my guess is even if someone tried to push it in the government, in the Labor Department, uh, it would be stayed almost instantaneously and uh, dragged through the courts for years to come, still not being enforced. I just don't see uh, anything that makes me believe that uh, the courts wouldn't hold that up. And eventually, I'd say 90% uh, chance uh, of them not allowing it to go through. Um, they've been really on the side of saying that Congress uh, better be passing these big questions and not handing them off uh, to unele uh, unelected bureaucrats. Uh, as we said, uh, we've got uh, Delta Neutral tomorrow. Earnings really uh, in a big way starting uh, on Thursday, I've got to get my little list up because I don't have them right here. So I will get that. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. So what do we have? Uh, okay. On Thursday, we've got uh, Delta Airlines, uh, uh, Wells Fargo, uh, 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 Walgreens, uh, Domino's, uh, Taiwan Semiconductor. That's probably the big uh, one for the semis and probably will color what we have on Thursday and Friday. Well, we also have Fastenal, probably not uh, a big one, but uh, it's nuts and bolts, and it tells you what's going on here in the United States. Uh, it's kind of like looking at international paper. Uh, that gives you a good uh, idea about what's going on on the industrial side of the market. On Friday, we go to J.P. Morgan, uh, Citibank, uh, Morgan Stanley, uh, PNC. So we'll have a real test of uh, some of the uh, bigger uh, broker-dealer bank kind of folk on uh, Friday. Uh, Microsoft has a little dog and pony tomorrow. I don't know how much that's going to do for them. Uh, NVIDIA products starting to hit the shelf now. And, of course, we've got Amazon with their Prime Day. I, I never can remember it being that big of a deal. I've still not been able to buy anything off their Prime deal that I wanted. Uh, but uh, eh, what else is going on? Uh, CNBC is always good at flogging that horse 
uh, on it for an easy day of news. Uh, and that's kind of it. Uh, we've got uh, the monthly options expiration into the 21st. And uh, as we've gone along over uh, yesterday and today, uh, those options have just firmed uh, in that uh, area of about 380 on the, S uh, on the spies. So, yeah, could we, could, could we have 180 points higher, maybe 200 points higher by the 21st? Uh, it could, and that could just be short covering. As we said before, or I said yesterday, I wasn't very bearish coming into this morning. Uh, we had very light volume. We didn't even get 10 billion shares yesterday uh, on the, uh, uh, on the uh, uh, CBOE uh, tape. And we needed something like in the neighborhood of 18 billion. Uh, we did have, uh, and we talked about it a great deal, uh, the bond market closed yesterday. Uh, we had a lot of self-serving uh, articles on that. Uh, then I get into the TLT, which actually is starting to look like a big false breakdown in the market. We needed uh, 100 and I think it was 89 cents for the previous low. And we are just at that now, uh, 165. So we are very close to popping right back in. You didn't have a lot of volume uh, that did kind of do it. You don't need much more to get back into the trading range. Uh, am I a uh, bond bull here? Not really. Um, but, uh, yeah, could you bounce back up to maybe 106 or 107 and still be in a downtrend? I think you could. But, uh, you know, let's say that takes a week or 10 days and gets us through expiration. I think we could have a fairly nice uh, counter trend rally in the market. 877-927-6648. Call me. Tell me why I'm all wet or why you agree with me or that you have a third option. Uh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. You can always put a message in the den, and uh, we'll be looking at that. Okay, so that's some of it. Let's do a little history. We'll get that uh, through, and then we'll move on to a lot of charts, and we're going to look at them for lighter volume yesterday. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1887, Mr. Felt is granted the second of two patents on his comp Tometer, the first practical and commercially successful key-driven mechanical calculator. Various comptometers were in continuous production from 1887 to the mid-1970s. And if you've ever seen one of these pieces of incredible, I'm going to just call them art, of mechanical art, um, pretty interesting. Of course, uh, 1972 comes along. Uh, Intel and some others make the first integrated circuit designed to replace these. Within two years, almost all of them were bankrupt. Within four years, all of them were bankrupt. And it took a company like uh, Commodore, who is big in this uh, field, uh, into the computer industry by 1980. 877-927-6648. where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Mr. Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Still up on the S&P cash today after being down. Uh, NASDAQ continues to be the weak sister. Dow up uh, 273. So we're seeing a little bit of weakness. But uh, we've seen this the last uh, few days. That is that uh, everybody wants to buy the lows. No one wants to buy the breakout. But uh, my guess is that we're probably going to have that breakout in the next 24 hours. 877-927-6648. Okay, what else do we have going on? Anyway, I uh, talked about the TLT. That's probably one of the uh, bigger things you want to keep your eye on if that gets back into the trading range. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. Uh, da, 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 what is it? Uh, uh, okay. I want the Forex to dollar index. This thing has been all over the place today. Got down to... Uh, 112 uh, 30 112.64 now on the dollar index and uh, what do we have on the futures here we'll take a quick look at gold eh, 1685 let's take a closer look and see what we have on that uh, I was thinking that you did have a little bit oop, let's go do this because I continue to Okay, so yesterday's gap down, I thought, was a little bit of uh, many people in China that were parked in gold for the week that they were off. And you're getting a little bit of a pullback. Uh, for a, a fairly large gap down, you didn't have that much volume. I'm not a rabid bull here on gold right at the moment, but, uh, yeah, you got your 50 uh, more than that, you almost got your uh, 618 retracement. Uh, you needed about another nickel uh, to get there. So pretty much uh, if you wanted to be in gold, uh, I think you could probably put in a stop of uh, close below 154.87 and say uh, that's it because you don't want it breaking that. My guess, if it does, it'll go back down to the uh, previous low, 151.03. So 
So we do have that. Uh, what else do we have going on here today? Uh, a lot of people uh, downgrading some various stocks uh, today. I saw that earlier in the day. Uh, to, to, let's turn this off so we can see this a little bit better. Turn down the time frames. Um, you got a little bit lower with uh, NVIDIA today. Again, uh, what we're really probably looking forward to this week uh, in the semiconductor space is Taiwan Semi. Uh, that had the, uh, a fairly big gap down today. Uh, and you had some volume. And, of course, still got two days to earnings. I'm always, uh, always uh, thinking that most of the time, these gaps down before earnings pretty much price in the worst. Uh, da, 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 okay. Okay. And see. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's take a quick look at the SMHs also. Um, you finally got back into this gap. Let's go back a little bit farther. Um, and tested it today. Uh, that gap on the SMHs goes back to November 4th of 2020. Uh, so you were up on, what, about almost 4 million shares. So let's go back and see here. Um, you got into that with already 5 million shares today, but you're really not breaking it. Um, you've got a little bit more of a low out here uh, that you could see back in November, or excuse me, October 30th of uh, 2022. The low of the day out there was 168.85. So that is the next real uh, support level you have other than this gap. But uh, eh, it's kind of on the high side of that gap today and filled it. Um, I'm just thinking a bounce and a downtrend could still take you back up to 200 on the SMHs. Uh, t -t -t okay. Uh, t -t 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 what do we have here? Okay. Uh, question about Apple. We'll look at it real quick. So you're retesting uh, the October 3rd low. That was 137.69, 125 million shares. Uh, into it today, you got two dojis out here now. Uh, yesterday's doji had 75 million shares. Today's doji has, uh, we'll call it just under 50 million shares today, uh, but not a whole lot of volume coming into these lows. Uh, let's take a look at the... Uh, spies real quick same kind of thing let's go on a little shorter time frame um, now yesterday you could probably write off uh, to the bond market today uh, not so much September 30th 357 and four cents with 154 million shares we're doing about half that right now we did go below it we're going to close back above it so that is a valid buy signal uh, if that uh, continues through the close. I think we've got a lot of people that are waiting for everybody else to move. And my guess is that when we do, do get through 3636 again, uh, the market will take off like a scalded. What are they? Is it scalded? Well, a bunch of stuff that I can't say. But anyway, scalded something. Small scalded animal. Okay, let's take a look at, uh, we talked about this yesterday, so we got uh, Joe asking about it again, and that is uh, Workday. We had very light volume yesterday. Volume is just a little hotter than it was, uh, but we were looking for something in the range of about 3 million shares to really show that we were breaking through. Uh, only about 1.3 million shares so far. So you're getting to some fairly good level of support on some of these bigger companies that uh, eh, probably will run very well for the most part. Let's go ahead and bounce over to the IBBs for Paul. 
keep the emails coming, by the way, 877-927-6648 and path at tfnn.com. Uh, okay. Well, you just got kind of a uh, just a little bigger candle engulfing yesterday's, but it's not a very big candle. Uh, we talked about this in the retracement part. Um, you pretty much got your 618 retracement yesterday. Uh, I think you could put in a stop in the IBB uh, below 116.69, and uh, you'd probably have a nice little setup. Um, is there a lot of money in it? No, but you probably uh, found the low in some of these for the short term. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, JDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And hopefully we're back. Okay. I didn't hear any audio, but that may have been me. And, uh, yeah, we're, we'll see. Uh, just kind of drifting around at these low levels, uh, but not a lot of selling, not a lot of buying. And generally when you have these kind of lows come in, uh, no one believes it for a little while. Uh, and then it kind of comes uh, all like a, uh, a freight train at you. So just be careful i'm not always right but my guess is that uh, when we do have a move out here whether i'm right or wrong uh it's going to be definitive that means you probably shouldn't be uh, anywhere away from your mouse button uh for the next hour and a half because 
everything is set up almost perfectly. Now, maybe uh, this drags on into tomorrow uh, for Delta Neutral Day, but uh, kind of hard to tell. Uh, first question is uh, for uh, Tesla. We've come back into this gap higher. That gap was on June 21st. Uh, you had 122 million shares. Uh, you're getting into it with about half of that. You got about 55 million shares today. Uh, could you get 208.69? Maybe. Uh, this is actually a, one of the best looking charts, though, uh, in the market. And I'm kind of always a bear on Tesla. But you only had about two thirds the energy on the way down than you had on the way up. And there aren't many of those that you can find in the market. Now, maybe something changed uh, lately, uh, but, uh, you know, you could get a bounce to 265, I think, fairly easily in this. Question on the TBT, uh, where would you be a buyer for this? Um, like I said, in the TLT, we've got a pretty good sign that uh, we're going to be uh, probably on the upside on the bond market, I'm thinking we could get on the TLT something like 105 uh, ish uh, on a bounce. Uh, on this, uh, just looking at it, my thought is that you could get back into 2950. Uh, on this, this is the 2x bearer on the TBT. So I would kind of look around that 2950 area if it got back down there on low volume. But uh, you've got a fairly good indication that you've got a top. Uh, you had a island kind of reversal back on the 27th. Uh, you did that on 8.1 million shares. Uh, you got into it yesterday with 5.2 million shares, uh, or the day before yesterday. Yesterday, with just 4.4 million shares, uh, you're probably going to close back into this range. And that's probably a pretty good indication that you've got a at least short to medium term uh, top coming into the bond market. We've got Janet Yellen uh, talking exactly when the markets close at four. Uh, so I'm imagining uh, that she's been told to go out there and start whipping the economy up. Uh, we've got an election coming and uh, maybe things don't look as good for her bunch as she thinks thinks that they may be so uh, maybe uh, going to the whip a little uh, horse racing lingo there for you folks in loots uh, so uh, don't be surprised to see a lot of happy talk um, or more happy talk I know there's a lot of things going on uh, but the oldest saying that there is a, and around uh, is uh, you buy when there's blood in the streets or uh, the one that I love, the uh, French one, you buy on the uh, on the cannons and you sell on the trumpets. Well, certainly we've got the cannons right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking we get a bounce. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. I mean, part of our bounce today came from uh, one of the Fed members coming out and uh, uh, eh, there weren't quite uh, rainbows and unicorns coming out, you know where, uh, on their uh, on their human orifices, but uh, yeah, it was kind of that. Uh, to, 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 what else do we have? Oh, let's take a quick look at uh, MSFT again. <laughs> I'm saying that the next, uh, I think by this time tomorrow. We're going to be moving. <laughs> so I know that you were kind of laughing. I don't have an exact one, but uh, everything looks good here, or better, let me put it, for a short term. And again, uh, I don't, I'm not a Pollyanna. I'm not saying we're out of a bear market. Um, I've been looking for kind of a big run uh, that could last three months and take us into the end of the year. And then probably next year, we're going to see uh, the return of a very, maybe rabid bear. But I think we could get a bounce uh, that take, could take us all the way up to 4,100 on the S&P. Microsoft just uh, eh, a little lower out here. You got into the gap, not a lot of volume. Be very interesting. Uh, whether or not uh, the stock goes up or not, we all have to pretty much in the finance industry use uh, Microsoft. I know that there's a couple of people uh, that uh, 
uh, I have as subscribers and uh, other people that are looking for new hardware for Microsoft as they are kind of a leader now in the laptop part of the market. Um, and I did have, oh, I had somebody else ask me if they'd buy a uh, Apple laptop and I said no. And I thought I'd just bring it up here now. One of the reasons is we're down here in Humidville, otherwise known as Tampa. And one of the problems with having a Apple laptop in Florida uh, is the high humidity. They put these uh, little uh, things that look like, oh, I'm going to call them about the size of a hole in a piece of paper like you had in school. You had those hole punches. Uh, they're about that big and they're a little dot and they're a sensor if they get uh, humid uh, they turn a color and of course that voids your warranty on uh, apple and uh, you don't have to you don't have to throw your laptop in the uh, in the tub you just have to have it down here uh, and uh, uh, that's enough and people have the dickens of a problem getting a lot of warranty or stuff done if you uh, take your laptop outside of the air conditioning. So I'm just not a big fan of it. Most of the other ones don't do stuff like that. I know they have it in their phones too, but the phones tend to be very sealed and uh, not as big a problem, but uh, it's still the same kind of thing. I'm just not a fan of the Apple laptops uh, for, one of the, for that reason down here. Uh, let's get some more emails here, so let's get through those. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I got that. That's over here. Uh, if I was going to buy NVIDIA or AMD for a bounce, which ones I would go after? I would certainly go after NVIDIA because, uh, uh, you got to know that anybody uh, following Kramer probably isn't an established and good short seller. They're going to do the wrong thing. I've been waiting for that to run. I've kind of thought that they could run the shorts out of that following Kramer, maybe up to 140. I just don't know exactly where that's going to be. Now, NVIDIA has their product launch. If they sell out very quickly in the next 24 hours, you could see that kind of short squeeze on Kramer's followers. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. back we got a few more stocks to look at here it's just bouncing around i think we're getting ready for a counter trend move that should be fairly interesting okay we looked at that we looked at that we looked at that we looked at that looked at that uh question about pltr which hasn't been doing much uh again i don't see i mean you got probably an ABC on the way up. Um, I'm just going to say this is probably a lower percentage move. Let's take a look here. You got a little ABC uh, to, to, to out here. And that would take you to $9.18. I'm not going to be pushing more than a one-to-one -one in this market. Uh, but yeah, you could do that. Uh, you've got a nice wide-ranging bar here today that got down to 770. Uh, what's the volume today? 32 million shares. Eh, you know, I think they're better out here. But, uh, yeah, you could probably see some of these. The biggest problem with uh, Planeteer, we've said it, I've said it since it started trading, and that is this is a company where they can't tell you what they do. If they did, they'd have to kill you. You're not going to get a lot of headlines and uh, other stuff. You kind of got that at the very beginning, but that were the people that were operating the stock. Uh, I don't think it's a bad company, and if you wanted to hold, uh, hold it for 10 years, I think it'd probably be a $100 stock. The issue is, do you want to own it for a year while it goes sideways or up and down a little bit? But uh, eventually, I think it will do okay. I don't see much in it. Maybe you get your ABC out of this to uh, $9.18. But uh, just uh, too many people short uh, for my, uh, uh, my beliefs on it. Um, two, 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 okay. What else did we have out here? Uh, oh. What do the charts tell us on Uber? Um, you blew through again. This is why I suspect uh, a lot of self-serving uh, stuff. Ever since uh, Jamie Dimon uh, came on the TV Monday morning at 1030 and started telling everybody to throw the baby out with the bathwater, I've been highly dubious of uh, self-serving headlines in the market. I think a lot of people ended up uh, deciding they were going to buy Uber at the lows. Um, I just don't see it being a huge ripper on the other side of this. I think if you bought it this morning at uh, low 23s or something, probably a pretty good trade. You got a lot of volume out here, but they made it uh, um, and just so many of these stocks out that I see out here, they see they're making them rip through the lows and getting people to throw uh, their stocks away. I think the lows uh, on the uh, second of August, uh, this thing popped up with 107 million shares. Um, you got 74 
But again, this is on a headline that I find highly dubious. Uh, there may be a lot of reasons for the president to say this. I just don't think uh, that they can carry it through um, for a variety of reasons, most of them legal. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, that is one for you there. Uh, if we have any questions in the den, please uh, push them through. Oh, I got another one here. What do we have? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, question, what do I think on TSM? Taiwan Semi. Uh, I mean, the big question for all these are always, is China going to invade? Um, I don't think there's any real problem with the company or them making their numbers. Even if everybody quits or some people drop out, um, Taiwan Semiconductor can easily fill uh, the production with other from other folks. It's not, uh, I mean, they are production bound at the moment. So I don't understand other than them being invaded, a lot of bearishness in this. Um, I would wonder if you do get some kind of reversal on Thursday uh, and makes this an island bottom. Um, I don't, again, I'm not a uh, Pollyanna, but uh, this may be the lows for a long time in TSM, uh, short of an invasion. Um, I don't know how you put a odds on that. Uh, as I said before, I'm generally, if I'm playing semis, I'm going to be playing them for a variety of reasons, uh, both long or short, with options. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of reasons uh, to have all your equity in these. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, yes. What is that? Skyworks. SKY. Uh, SWKS. Uh, they love to throw these downgrades uh, at lows, which I find hysterical. If I was in it, I probably would not find it hysterical. But, uh, yeah, Skyworks Solutions, of course, makes a lot of products for uh, cell, uh, smartphones. Um, you really didn't get, you, you finally, they kind of broke it through the lows. You never really got the kind of big volume you'd like to see. Um, you got to what? And two and a half, two million shares yesterday. And that was into a 3 million share low at 88 bucks. So you've got some nice downside here. Again, I would watch these for any sign of an island bottom in the short term. Uh, and maybe you get a 50% retracement or something. That's actually fairly big on a lot of these stocks. And that wouldn't destroy any downside of the longer term bear folk. Uh, only that. Okay, question about UNG. Uh, I haven't changed my mind on this one. What you want to see is that first massive cold snap. And we haven't really kind of, as far as I can tell, not seen that quite yet. Um, all that being said, I think you have the opportunity uh, for some kind of low here, minus some big headline news. Uh, but your last low was uh, 5 point, uh I'm going to call that 5.9 million shares on October 3rd at 2170. Uh, today, you got about 3.3 million shares. So you're getting a fairly decent retest. Um, the only thing that would make this look any better would be about a 2175, 2150 print on this that then gets rejected. Uh, it's hard for me to be bearish any of these. And uh, at the moment, probably the hardest thing for me to do is not just buy UNG right now. But, uh, there may be a little bit better. Be back in a minute.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we come back, uh, I don't know. I don't know if a headline came through or anything, but uh, certainly we lost a lot of... Uh, points there fairly quickly. s and is now just a hair under 3,600, uh, 3596.98. As I said, we go into options uh, rollover uh, delta neutral tomorrow, so expect more uh, volatility, probably not less tomorrow. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't see a lot of reasons why to get too freaked out at the moment, uh, mostly on these volumes. Maybe we get one more push down uh, before, but uh, my guess is the low of the next 10 days uh, is either here or within the next uh, trading day. So we'll keep an eye on it. Options continue to be rather bullish uh, in the very short term, and uh, we're just looking for a bounce in a downtrend, or at least I am. Uh, and uh, we'll take a look. Uh, again, uh, push down this morning with. Uh, yeah, lighter volume, probably still going to see it. We only have 7.7 .7 billion shares on the CBOE total volume so far today. And maybe that comes back in. Um, sometimes you can just chew through these lows. And while we don't see a lot of volumes, maybe we could see that. But uh, don't see a lot of volume coming back in. Um, 
they tend to get the volume when they run the stops, and then there isn't a lot of volume the rest of the day. Uh, just watching what's happened in the last 10, 15 minutes uh, on the uh, push down is basically the same thing. Um, if they can gap it down and get a lot of uh, stops to run them, uh, they can have it. Again, uh, I'm more thinking that uh, everybody's trying to push money in my pocket for free. And uh, generally, I'm kind of a contrarian when that comes to the end of the world kind of speech by many people self-serving. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems a